Time now for the morning rush. The trial for the young woman accused of tossing her newborn into a dumpster is set to continue. Yesterday, the state began making its case against Alexis Avila, who admitted to abandoning the child after she says that she didn't know that she was pregnant. Avila's attorney said that she should be held accountable for something, but urged the jurors to set their emotions aside. Avila's trial is scheduled to run through the end of the week. The man accused of carving a racial slur into his neighbor's driveway is waking up behind bars this morning. Bradley Wiley is accused of using a sword to write the racial slur on his neighbor's driveway. Now, when the homeowner confronted him, Wiley allegedly threatened that neighbor with the sword. A judge granted the state's pretrial detention motion, but the defense can have the motion reconsidered once a psychiatric evaluation is completed. The man who murdered his sister's boyfriend is scheduled for sentencing. In 2021, Francisco Robles cut Javier Gandaria's throat. It was during a 4th of July celebration killing him. In December, Robles pleaded to gu uh, guilty rather to second degree murder. His sentencing is scheduled for two this afternoon. Erica. Look at our school day forecast. 52 this morning. You'll just need some light layers and it's going to be a warm afternoon with higher breezes. Investigators are now calling a fire at a Socorro strip mall arson. The fire at Socorro Warrior Wrestling and Rising Star Dance Studio happened on Sunday. The wrestling group reportedly lost $90,000 worth of equipment, and the dance studio says that their studio was vandalized around the same time that the fire was set. Now, the state fire marshal says that there are no suspects at this point. A vacant lot near UNM will be getting a facelift thanks to a new development. Albuquerque developers plan to build a three-story, 20-unit apartment com complex near Yale and Silver. The project is expected to cost around $4 million. Well, some parents are frustrated this morning after Santa Fe Public Schools announced next year's school year calendar. In the new schedule, kindergarten through 6th grade, they will stay in school 20 minutes longer, while 7th through 12th grades may only see five extra minutes each day. The district also added two full days to the school year and four social-emotional learning days. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is moderate today as there is high fire danger for the Northeast Highlands and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Out west, we could see some showers and gustier winds. A southern New Mexico mayor is home safe this morning after he was reported missing in Mexico. Yesterday, the Luna County Sheriff's Office says Columbus Mayor es Ezequiel Salas and another village employee arrived at the Columbus port of entry safely. This comes after village employees said the two didn't return to work on Monday after a week-long vacation to Palomas. We are seeing new body cam video from the first officer who arrived at a Louisville bank during Monday's Monday morning shooting. Louisville Patrol Officer Nicholas Wilt was shot in the head within a minute of arriving on the scene. He's still in critical condition. Officer Corey Galloway was shot in the arm, but he continued to return gunfire, finally killing the shooter. Erica. All right, let's get a check on traffic. The maps are looking clear. No major accidents or slowdowns. And Tracker is heading south on I-25 near Lead and Coal where everything is moving at speed. A group of Good Samaritans in Alaska spent their Easter Sunday tackling a big rescue mission. Two men noticed a moose after it fell through the ice on the Chino River. After hours of being trapped in the river, the moose was eventually freed when the team of rescuers was able to pull the animal out of the water. Time for the five facts. At number five, a vacant lot near UNM will be getting a facelift thanks to a new development. In recent years, the lot near Yale and Silver has seen increased levels of loitering and trash. Now, Albuquerque developers plan to build the Parador, a three-story, 20-unit apartment complex with improved bicycle and pedestrian walkways along Yale with new streetscaping. The project is expected to cost around $4 million. And at number four, plans for phase two of the Second Street Corridor Improvement Project. They are now picking up steam. The project spans Second Street from Rio Bravo all the way to the South Diversion Channel. A phase one was completed back in 2019 and included new sidewalks and a multi-use trail. That was from Mountain View Elementary all the way to the Valle de Oro Wildlife Refuge. Proposed improvements for phase two include installing new sidewalks, improving drainage, and installing new lighting in the area. Officials say that they expect construction to begin in 2027. And at number three, it's going to be a warm and breezy day. Those winds will be picking up this afternoon to around 20 to 30 miles per hour. At number two, the trial for the young woman accused of tossing her newborn into a dumpster is set to continue. Yesterday, the state began making its case against Alexis Avila, who was 18 years old in January of last year. It's when she was seen on surveillance video throwing a trash bag with her newborn inside that was into a Hobbs dumpster. Now, hours later, a trio of dumpster divers then were able to discover the infant and called 911. 
During police interviews, Avila admitted to abandoning the child after she says that she didn't know that she was pregnant and gave birth alone in the bathroom of her family's home. Prosecutors argue that her story doesn't add up. Meanwhile, Avila's attorney says while she should be held accountable for something, he urged jurors to set their emotions aside. And at number one, some parents are frustrated this morning after Santa Fe Public Schools announced a new calendar that will keep students in classrooms longer. Yesterday, Santa Fe Public Schools announced next year's school calendar. It adds on extra class time each day to follow new state guidelines. In the new schedule, kindergarten through sixth grade will stay 20 minutes longer, while seventh through twelfth grades may only see five extra minutes each day. The district will also add two full days to the school year along with four social-emotional learning days.